Hi everyone, in this video we're going to have a brief look at how to sculpt in Blender 2.8. So this is useful if you're a complete beginner to Blender 2.8 and sculpting in general. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So when I'm sculpting, I don't need to have the uh, camera or the light, so I'm just going to go ahead and select both of them and delete it. So just uh, right click and then shift right click the other one. I'm also not going to use a cube, I want to use a UV sphere, so shift A, mesh, UV sphere. Uh, just to showcase the sculpting mode. So usually when we sculpt uh, in Blender 2.8, you don't need to use this mode. You can go ahead and well, either you can change the mode over here to from object mode to sculpt mode, or uh, a shortcut is to use control tab and then just change from sculpt mode that way. Um, generally what I like to do is go to the sculpting workspace directly. This now sets up our viewport so that it will be ready to sculpt straight away. So it has all the tools uh, and the brushes and everything uh, set up for us. So we don't need to do much setting up. We even have the shading set to uh, matcap. So matcap is basically uh, like a default material that won't be rendered and uh, also has some lighting information as well. So even though we deleted all the lights and everything in our scene, it doesn't matter because the matcap has a built-in lighting and material setup already for us. Matcaps uh, won't be used for rendering, it's just to help see our 3D objects uh, form. In order to sculpt, we have all these brushes over here. Um, it should be relatively self-explanatory what these do. You can uh, hover over them to see what, the, what, the, what it actually does, or you can uh, like drag out on the corner to see the actual name. Uh, you can also select different types of brush. So for example, if I click and hold the grab, you can change between grab and thumb. Uh, same with the ones with the arrows, so blob, I can change from inflate, deflate, and things like that. Also, if I hover my mouse over here, you'll see the uh, tooltip showing the shortcut keys that you can use to very quickly change between brushes. And over here, we have the toolbar. So, um, it's the same thing as going over here. Uh, Blender just uh, conveniently helps us out by putting, uh, putting it over here so that uh, everything is visible to us while sculpting. Uh, and also sort of reflects the old Blender 2.7 sculpt mode as well. So uh, when we sculpt in Blender 2.8, what I like to do is, well, generally the most popular brush that we use is Grab uh, and even Sculpt Draw as well, um, like we have over here. Another popular sculpting feature that was also available in Blender 2.7 is Dynatopo. So if you just go ahead and tick that, um, hit OK. Um, we can now dynamically create new topologies. So as I can see, as I paint, we're creating new vertices in our object. As we sculpt, it dynamically generates new topology over the existing one. So this allows us to freely sculpt the, the form of our 3D object without having to worry about topology and all that stuff. All of that stuff can later be fixed with retopology methods. So now we can go ahead and do like cool uh, sculpting things and very, very quickly see what our, uh, our models can look like. So for example, I could use a grab, grab brush to, to shape out some, some character probably. I can use, uh, say, the snake hook brush to pull out new form in, uh, in our 3D object. I can use a sculpt draw brush and to, to draw in new form. I can use a smooth brush to smooth out parts. Oops. I can use the smooth brush to smooth out my model. Also note that when I go to sculpt draw, uh, if I just click, it will add the model that goes out of the object. Uh, that's because it's, on, it's in mode add. If I go to subtract, it will cut into the mesh. Another shortcut that I like to use is pressing the control key on my keyboard. That does pretty much the same thing. So if I left click and drag, it will add. If I um, press control and then left click and drag, it will subtract. I also like to use the clay strips brush when I when I do some sculpting. It gives me a bit more control. So for example, I can build up new form really, really quickly. I can add in a nose, maybe go back to the uh, snake hook by pressing K and then building out more shape of the nose. Um, I can go and smooth things out again. I can use a crease brush. What this will do is I can very easily create lips so I can pull my view up. You can use these widgets over here to uh, move your 3D scene, so you can press this, you can click and drag this one to move, or to zoom in, or to uh, rotate around your sculpt, things like that. So maybe I can use this crease brush over here to shape out, say, a mouth. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That is the basics of sculpting in Blender 2.8. You might have noticed that while I'm sculpting, it's being copied onto the other side, it's being mirrored. 
Uh, that's because by default, under symmetry and lock, it's being mirrored on the x-axis. So as you can see that this is the x-axis, uh, it's being mirrored exactly halfway. So uh, if I click that, then sculpt, you'll see that now we don't have any mirroring going. So if you don't want any mirroring, just go ahead and tick that. That's pretty much how to very quickly get started with sculpting in Blender 2.8. I hope this video has been useful and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.